Mai am pot, coci un pe bine. We put the sticks warm it and then we put the cutter with the... Technically day three today. It's early right now. It's 7 a.m. But we are waking up this early to go have to breakfast. Oh, I am so <laughs> tired. <laughs> I'm also tired. So the the AC unit in our bedroom is really good, which is awesome because it's freaking hot all the time. But I got so cold last night. <laughs> I like woke up a bunch. Of, I was like freezing. So I'm a little tired from that. We're heading over to a cute little cafe for breakfast and then Today entails ruins and I think underground river. Yeah, down here they call it a cenote. I've actually never been in one, but it sounds really cool. We'll keep you posted on the day. A huge intro about how cool they were. Exciting though, it'll be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be very cool. Just look at all this. Like, here's the thing, guys. That temple over there, like, I'm not even sure that they will do justice of just how big it is. It's massive. It's huge. Okay, we're a little bit closer to some of these now. Look how big. This isn't even the biggest structure, but it's so tall. There's Trevor in perspective. These people have no power tools. Yeah. This is all handmade. It's literally amazing. Narrow, very steep. You need to climb it in a very special way. How zigzag like the snake. The snake heads over there that they said they'll Whoa. replace someday. They said it's a lot of work to get him back up there, which I can imagine why. So this is where they played an ancient game where they would try to put a rubber ball using their shoulders, their elbows, their hips, their knees to get a rubber ball through that hole. And the winner got executed. But it's like a good thing. Please pay attention to my shadow. See the hand holding a knife? You find the knife? See my shadow. The other hand holding the head of the other player. Oh, See wow. the blood? That's what we know, somebody was sacrificed, okay? Unfortunately, he became a show and they sacrificed the loser one by the winner one. Huh. This was the place for the high priest, for him to watch the game from there, okay? These are all the cute little shops kind of scattered all through the tour, so I think we're gonna hit some of those later. It's hot. It is hot. <laughs> it's so hot. We are learning, the, the facts are hot too. <laughs> this is good information. There's another, uh, what was used as a sacrificial altar right here. And it was Sleep. also considered an honor. It yeah, to be sacrificed. Like were dragged up there against their will or whatever, they, they wanted to be there. And I was yeah. Like, one of the greatest achievements ever. Try to see up there and top and the right edge of the building and you see something sticking out like stone hooks up there and top and the right. Do you find them? Yes. This is the nose of Shaag, the rain god. So this side of the structure has not been put together yet by archaeologists. So that's kind of, that's all the original stone over there and a lot of it's fallen off and hasn't been able to be found to be replaced yet. A lot of the stones were taken by villagers to use just for their home. Thousands of years ago. Uh, 
ancient Mayan observatory. The fact that it's still standing is honestly crazy. These ruins just keep going too. Like we've been out here for two hours and like, look, you can see them clear over there. Our tours all the way over there. They're it's just like, everywhere. There's zones that you can't even go. Yeah. He said there's so much to even still be discovered. It's honestly amazing. Like, oh, look at all this. It's kind of this like, it's called like an eerie reverence. People lived here. Like for years. For a long time. And they put in a lot of work into these buildings. And now the civilization, their language, everything like gone. Crazy. <laughs> back on the bus after our excursion and tour which was actually amazing really hot but gorgeous yeah super pretty like everything around you you just knew you were standing in history it's really what it felt kind like kind of like sacred ground honestly kind of yeah <laughs> stopped at some shops got ourselves a little jaguar head here this was made by hand by cedarwood i think yeah made out cedarwood. of cedarwood and then we also got some fun magnets and a cute dress for Ridley. We're not actually quite sure what we're going to be doing next, uh, <laughs> but you will be finding out along with us, so <laughs> we will catch you then. <laughs> Next location, which is called a cenote, an underground river. Um, like literally underground, like it's under the city. Yeah, apparently it's really private. Like we're the only ones that are supposed to be there, yeah. which is really cool. Uh, I can like tell how we're shiny glistening. I am. Yep. It's hot. It's, it's hot out here. humid so. too. It's so humid. The cenote, you would never guess like where it is. <laughs> See that little fence thing over here in the middle? You literally go down the stairs into it right over there. All right, here we go. Cenote con ha. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> this is honestly insane. What the heck? Wow. Whoa, look, there's the top. There's the crew. things I've ever done. That's all I saw I'm gonna say. <laughs> Crazy, like who would have ever known that this was just down here underneath the city? We are heading to lunch now. Guys, these are quaddies. Kawadi. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. It's adorable. Look at it. Aww. Each of these boxes has one queen. Can photos? Yes, yes, yes. Of course. I know. Not problem. This one dollar at the end. Nice. And this honey, you just will get it twice on a year. That's why it's very expensive. And it's Melipona. That's the name of the honey. Melipona honey. honey. And here you can see these little boxes, two different colors. One produced honey, or the bees, they love the honey, and this ones. And this ones, they, uh, the pollen. Mayan food, cochinita pibi. We put the sticks warm it, and then we put the castle. Really with the, and we leave it for four or five hours. 
Mm. And then we take it away. Oh my God. By the way, so in a few good. minutes you're gonna enjoy coaching it. They're swarming all over the place. And the I'm trying not to freak the out. Up, they don't have stingers. Because this you don't find it in other Look at all. Here we get it, like she took it from that. And then we put it in. We have this cute little restaurant all to ourselves. This table's set just for our family. There's the spread. <laughs> I've never had a tamale before, so I'm really excited to try it. Well, I don't know if you guys can see it, but we were just about to head over to dinner because uh, we walk and it just started downpouring. A little tropical rainstorm for a minute. We are headed to dinner right now. Uh, we're going to the place that we went on the first yeah. night, uh, Turtle Bay. <laughs> Everything's extra green and really pretty and extra humid now. <laughs> All right, yeah, it's like, it's not even more. Like, it feels like it's just a round view. <laughs> These walks have been really nice, actually. The like dinner, them. it's a little bit cooler at night. Gets so. your appetite going. Yeah, and then you get to walk it off a little bit on the way back home. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I forgot to get a picture of our food, but that was delicious. I had uh, the chicken marsala. And like, I can't even tell you how good it was. It was so good. She cleaned her plate. Like there was literally not a morsel and on it. it you can ask Trevor, that does not happen very often. I hate to admit that, but I usually always leave something Cause she's super plate. picky. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I just get full, but like, I got full and then I kept eating it because it was so good. I had a chicken sandwich. It was massive. It was a little dry, a little. It was good. Yeah, it was huge too. It was like as big as his face. Yeah, it was that's a massive. Big face. <laughs> a very cute one. Though. Here's a quick check in with our animal buddies. Hi, hey, puppy. And then there's a kitty right over here. It's actually a very pretty cat. They're all um, they're all kind of wild though. No one owns them, so they hang out around the food places. Oh, sleepy cat. <laughs> Everything changes.